welcome back to the Crystal Palace. We are now in Savannah, Georgia. Come along with us as we take about two days here in Savannah, do all the top attractions, the top sites, do some shopping, some eating. Let's go. Our first stop in Savannah is Mrs. Wilkes dining room and this is the line already. We got in line at 1025. So let's see what time we get up there and order and everything. Yes, it's finally here. It's so exciting. Oh my God. It looks so ish. Oh my God. So here's all of our sides. So they gave us a lot of extra size. I don't know what that is. Hmm. And then here's our bag of chicken. Yeah. That's banana pudding. Oh yeah. Oh my God, I love banana pudding. Okay. It's so good. So good. Yeah, right. well, go. yeah, save it for dessert. So we thought it was only four pieces of chicken. So <laughs> There's a lot of chicken in here. All right, I don't even know where to begin, honestly. I'm gonna start with the mac and cheese because that looks really good. Oh man. The mac and cheese is a little cold. I was expecting it to be hot, but it's pretty good. The chicken is like steaming hot, but it's really good so far. You enjoying it? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, they also gave us a slice of pound cake and here are biscuits or cornbread. I don't know, I'm gonna try. Yeah, all of this is $32, which is insane. That's cornbread, that is really, oh my God. I don't really even like cornbread, but. Oh my God, yo, you gotta try this. Wow. It's <laughs> really good cornbread, right? Yeah, it's like so moist. Yeah, that's amazing. It's like peas and noodles. Mm, I like that. That's that's up my alley. It's good. It looks amazing. Look at it. This just like ended every other biscuit ever. I can eat like 15 of these. So a little update. My favorite side is the mashed potatoes. I think they're really good. Chicken is really great. I like the breasts. And the biscuit and the cornbread was truly amazing, like fantastic. Favorites for you? The chicken was the best. Besides that, the cream corn was awesome. I'm gonna use this drumstick as a pointer. Okay. <laughs> this was awesome. The banana pudding was 10 out of 10. The mac and cheese was solid. It was a little cold. Other than that, everything was really solid. No complaints. Really solid. I need to walk about 10 miles to feel better <laughs> i am so full look at this that's so pretty so here's just a quick timeline we got in line at 10 25 a.m for it to open at 11 a.m the second person in line said that they got there at 9 30 in the morning and they were second in line they closed off the line at 11 15 so they put up a sign that says sorry for the inconvenience we're no longer serving customers that was 15 minutes after the place opened they did end up taking a few more people who ended up waiting you know they just stuck it out and got back in line I like this weather in Savannah here because Savannah is America's most haunted city. So it kind of like is that vibe, you know, and like the oak trees. It's so cool. They have a lot of these squares and parks around the city with like a monument in them. It's really, really cool. These parks are so pretty. I saw this cafe on TikTok. So we're going to go in. It's supposedly, well, you guys will say. It's so cool. There's like a bus and you could sit up there. So cool. So this is technically on the SCAD campus, I believe. They have all like the SCAD merch. This is so fun. I'm probably the least artistic person ever, but now I like wish I went to SCAD. <laughs> like this is so cool. So the Arts Cafe is right near Madison Square. Well, these signs say that these are around this area is probably one of the first roads in Georgia. I also love cities where if I see something on TikTok or Instagram, I, and I just walk into it. Like, I love that. I really want to come here in like October, November. It must be so cool. And then do like, what they have a lot of haunted tours. That would be really cool things to do in the fall. We are on our way to Wormslow Historic Site. It's gonna rain there's like a hurricane issued out so we're gonna we're gonna check it out we're gonna see how it is 
Oh my god, look at pick. this gate! This is so gorgeous. <laughs> So you pull in at the main gate here, then they make you stop in this parking lot to get your admission tickets right in this building. This is awesome. So the entrance gate was constructed by this guy who made it for his son's coming of age. It was made in 1913. So the Southern Live Oak, it's the official state tree of Georgia. That's cool. I love these trees so much. This main entrance is so beautiful. They let you stop and take pictures, which we just did. Now we get to drive through it. So we opened the sunroof. I'm going to get a cool video driving through. Now we are off to explore. It's 345. It closes at 445. So we're going to see what we can do in this hour here so this sign says that that whole avenue right there was a mile and a half long so once you park in the main parking lot there's a welcome center there and you could go to the pine trail or the tabby ruins so here are the ruins they were completed by the 1740s and occupied until the 1820s and this is what's left so what i mean by tabby house tabby is a local mixture made of sand, oyster shells, lime, and fresh water, all mixed in equal parts. And that's what they use to make this, which is so crazy. You can kind of see the shells there, which is so cool. Like from 1740, oh my God, look at this. The video honestly doesn't even do it justice, but wow. So apparently out there used to be a watchtower and any vessel that wanted to come into Savannah, they would have to pass by the guards in the watch house. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure to give a big thumbs up down below and hit that subscribe button. This is seriously so pretty. If you just like nature like this, we're just exploring and looking, look at that. <gasps> I would recommend coming here. We honestly weren't really even planning on coming here, but I'm so glad we're here. This is so amazing. Especially if you enjoy U.S. history, I think this is a place to come. This is a really cool fact. Cricket is one of Georgia's first sports. They played here in 1741. That's nuts. This is a life right here. <laughs> Krispy Kreme and Wormslow. Wormslow Historic Site is something that you guys have to do if you come to Savannah. It is so gorgeous. These oak trees, the Spanish moss, it is stunning here. It is downpouring, but we have made it to our hotel, the Westin, Savannah Harbor. Tonight we're dining at the Aqua Star here in the Westin. Here's our view. It's a very rainy, stormy night, but it's a good view. I got the chopped salad with chicken, and Joey got shrimp and grits. I just finished my salad. It was a small portion, but it was really good. I enjoyed it. The dressing was a champagne vinaigrette which I really liked, I put some on. If it wasn't storming so bad, we definitely would have went out into Savannah and got dinner there. But because the storm was so bad, we just decided to stay here and eat. It was fine. It was a little expensive for the portion sizes, but overall it was a good option. We just had to go right downstairs. And by the way, this is the view from our room. It's pretty amazing. That does it for day one here in Savannah. It was an awesome day. We have a very fun day planned tomorrow, so make sure you stay tuned for that video here on the Crystal Palace coming very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. See you guys next time. Peace. If you like hiking and wanna go hiking in Charlotte, this is probably a good place to come. That's Charlotte. Uh, we're not in Charlotte. We're in Savannah. <laughs> in Savannah, it's a 2.3 mile loop. This is something that you definitely have to do if you come to Charlotte. If you love nature, if you love history. We're not in Charlotte. Oh my god, I keep saying that. <laughs> Guys, I'm so confused. We just got done eating at Aquascape here at the Westin Hotel. The contributions of the Germish. Germish. German. It's to commemorate. <laughs> I gotta go. It's to commemorate the contributions of the early German immigrants. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is all part of the road trip, folks. That was good. Chicken and grits. Yeah, that was good. 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 Yeah, that was good.